over $55,000 in sales for one of my clients using Facebook ads. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Let's hop over to my computer. We're inside the ads manager. I'm going to break down all of the numbers. And I'm going to show you how to set this up yourself. So you can see right here last seven days and our spend was $5,260. And basically what that translated into was 3,554 3, website clicks or visitors. We paid a dollar forty eight per visitor. Then that led to two hundred and twenty five new customers with a return on ad spend of a nine point nine six. So that means every dollar we spent on ads, uh, we did got nine dollars and ninety six cents back in sales, which led to fifty five thousand eight hundred forty seven dollars and eighteen cents. Now I'm going to show you how to set this up yourself. So right now we're inside the ads manager. First thing you're going to do when you're trying to get more sales to your website, you're going to hit this green create button. Then you're going to select the sales objective and continue. Then you're going to select manual sales campaign. Continue. Now, keep in mind, you have to make sure that your uh, pixel is installed. If you don't know what a pixel is or don't have a pixel, just put what is a pixel in the comment section and I'll make a video uh, replying to you. So uh, first thing you want to do is name your campaign. So for this example, I'm going to put test. Uh, one of the most important things I like to do is at least put the date. So today's 719. That way you at least know when you started your ads. Then use catalog. This sometimes is always on. I'm going to deselect this for this example. Then everything else we're going to leave as is. Then we're going to click the next button. Then uh, if you're on Shopify, you may have your shop connected to your shop to your um, ad account and your Shopify store. So you would go website and shop. If not, just website. Then the most important part is making sure you have a pixel. So your pixel is what tracks what people actually do on your website. So uh, and it can communicate back and forth to Facebook. So if someone makes a purchase on your website, your pixel will send that back to Facebook and say, hey, someone purchased on their website from this particular ad. Now, your conversion event is going to be a purchase, basically telling Facebook, hey, show my ads to people that are likely to buy. Then your daily budget, you can start with as little as five dollars per day. If you want to get the ball rolling a little bit faster, I recommend at least like twenty five dollars per day. But don't get caught up on your daily budget. Uh, it's a total amount. Let me show you that you need to spend versus a daily amount. So you can see here we're averaging fifteen dollars per purchase. So at a five dollar per day budget, we would get one purchase every three days. Three times five is fifteen. Here we're averaging twenty eight dollars per purchase. So at a twenty eight dollar per day budget, we would get one sale per day. Uh, so that's how your budget breaks down. Doesn't matter what you spend per day, it matters what you spend overall. So keep that part in mind when selecting your daily budget. So $25 per day. Now your audience, we're gonna go with Advantage Plus Audience. And you can see here our technology automatically finds your audience for you. If you share an audience suggestion, we'll prioritize audience matching for profiles for searching more widely. So basically we just let Facebook do the targeting for you but they do have the option to add suggestions if you're going to if you're selling hair you can click on this suggestion part and go like hair extensions and this is just to give facebook some guidance as far as who to show your ads to then you go lace wig then wig boom then gender women and you will select your age demographic uh typically this client's customers around like 25 to 45 ish. So that's a good range right there. Then that gives us a nice audience size of about 15 million people. So that's perfect. Then your placement is going to be advantage plus placement. So you're leaving that as is. Then you're going to go next. Now content. Um, best thing you can do is upload like your already existing best performing content. I don't want you to get stuck on content. So upload what's already getting a lot of uh, shares likes comments engagement on your instagram so simply what you would do is use an existing post then you would select posts then select the post from your instagram page i'm just going to use this one as an example continue then your next step would be selecting your call to action which is going to be shop now actually remove 
add button and your call to action is going to be shop now so find shop now then diy849.com i'm just using this site as an example obviously put your own website url then make sure for your website events your this is green this little light right here is green that means your pixel is active then you go ahead and hit publish and you're good to go if you want more advanced training on how to set up ads scale your business there's a link in the description of this video on where you can join my rich off of beauty society it's only 17 dollars per month again if you're interested in that uh, check the link in the description of this video if you found this video helpful useful give me a thumbs up like comment subscribe thanks for watching